Hi everyone, Steven here. Have you ever wondered how you could capture packets or view the packets that go through the distributed firewall filter? Well, stick around, we're gonna take a look at that right now. Hi everybody, thanks for sticking around. Um, so why don't we jump to this? By the way, if this is stuff that you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out quite a bit and it's free for you to do that. All right, so let's jump right into it. Let's go into here. Now, I've already done a video on how to do packet captures where I cover a lot of this stuff in quite a bit of detail. I'll leave a link for that in the description of the video. What we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna look at the, uh, how do we capture packets pre and post distributed firewall filters. Again, I'll leave links to um, to the distributed firewall lecture that I actually did because that's actually rather important to see, right? What we're gonna focus on in this particular video is this here, the start capture command, right? This start capture command is part of the NSX command line interface or the NSX CLI and it's available on all the transport nodes. So your ESXi host, your edge nodes. So the nice thing about this, if you know, it's also available, sorry, on the NSX manager. If you, the nice thing about this, if you know it on one, it works kind of on all, all the others. So we're gonna use this tool to, to do that, okay? So why don't we jump right into the command line and take a look at that. So let me just get out of here. get out of here and I don't want to save that all right so let's take a quick look at my environment I've uh, got a quick rule set up already let's uh, go into NSX I've created a distributed firewall rule something really really basic okay nothing too crazy uh, here's a policy called block SSH to to DB I've got a VM called DB for database uh, and there's a rule inside this policy called uh, block SSH to database. It looks like any source uh, trying to get to this DB group here, which is uh, based, which has my database server in it. You can take my word for it. Uh, any service, sorry, the service SSH, so that's port 22, uh, it's going to drop it, okay? Uh, actually, let me enable that, okay? So it's gonna drop it, and it's applied to the database server. So that means only VMs in that group, which is the one VM DB has that, okay? Uh, if I go back to my vSphere environment, if I go to DB here, actually let me uh, go to database here, there's my database VM, there's its IP address, 172.16.30.11, and it's running on host ESXiO2. So let's go into ESXiO2. So let me fire up my MT PuTTY here. I'm gonna SSH into ESXiO2 just real quick. I'm gonna open up two sessions just to save some time here. On my first session, I'm gonna run the NSX CLI, okay? So there's the NSX command line interface. So I've just run that, okay? Let's go to my second session here. What I wanna do is look at the distributed firewall filter. And I demoed this also on my other video. So let's go summarize DV filter. You'll see a list of all the VMs and services running on that host. And it's right down here at the bottom here. You see the, the VM, uh, T1 database 01 ETH0. All right, that's the, the port. And here is the main thing. Here's the filter, NIC. Let me just highlight this, NIC 53154, whatever, ETH0 VM, SF, SFW.2, stateful firewall slot two, okay? Now I highlighted that, by highlighting this in empty putty, it's copied that, all right? So now I can go and view the firewalls on that if I want to. I've already demoed that in my other videos. You can go and watch that. What I wanna do is I wanna capture packets on that filter. So let's go back to my first host here and I'm gonna go start capture, um, start capture, and oh, I forget the commands. I'm gonna hit the tab button, and it comes back and it spits back what some valid commands are. So I can say start capture. Notice I can do DV filter, name, interface, which I've demoed in my packet capture one, or trace, which I've also talked about in my packet capture one. So I'm not gonna show those. Uh, again, those links for that will be in the comments. Let's look at the DV filter. Now this one's interesting. I'm gonna type in DV filter, hit tab, and then I'm gonna hit tab again, 
what are my options? And it's come up and it shows me uh, some NIC filters here, right? Uh, NIC 5315, whatever. Let's go back to this guy. I, was, I forgot the name of that one. It is 531548, uh, right? And you see that one listed as an option here, right? Um, there's also another one that's probably for another VM on that host. I don't know which one. It doesn't really matter. You may see a whole bunch here if you've got a bunch of VMs running your host. This is actually rather interesting. ESXi firewall.0. You can actually look at the firewall. Let's just let's type that one in just for the heck of it, right, Nick? Dash zero, hit tab. And it's actually capturing the, the traffic going through your ESXi firewall. This has nothing to do with NSX, te technically speaking. So it sees all the traffic that's going through. I'm going to stop that. That's not the, the point of this whole video. So let's go back into, um, uh, sorry, let's go back into here now. And come on. Start capture DV filter. I'm going to tab again. And uh, my database one was this filter here. Let's just make sure, let's copy that again, because uh, there we go. I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna go and paste it back in here. There we go. So again, I can hit enter on that, and it should start. Oh, there's no traffic going to it, duh. So let's generate some traffic to that. Let's go back in. I'm gonna go to one of my VMs. I'm gonna go to my web VM here. I'm gonna launch a, um, uh, the web console to it. Oh, I got I already got a console open. Let's close the tab. Let's go to there. There's the web VM. Let's. Uh, I've been doing some stuff. Let's ping my database 172.16.30.11. So I'm generating some traffic. I should see something now. There we go. So the filter, it's showing me the traffic going through it. I'm not really saying what to, to, to do here, right? So let's uh, kill that. So um, there's my filter. I'm going to hit space. I'm going to hit tab again. And it shows me that I could also do a count, which I talked about my packet capture. Uh, how many packets do I want to display? Maybe you don't want like thousands. I just want to show five, right? Let, let's do that. Count five. And I should see five because I'm doing a ping, right? I should see five going on here. Now, if I'm noticing here, Everything is going from 172.16.10.11 to 172.16.30.11, which is database. And this is an echo request, then a reply, then a request, and a reply. So we see the traffic going both ways. You see the layer 2 information over here, the source MAC, that 56, sorry, 56.44.52. That's the MAC address of my distributed router. It's on a different segment. And this is the MAC address, again, of the, uh, this would be the destination MAC. In this case, it's the database MAC, since it's going to... The destination IP here. Um, great, that's just showing me that. Now, I created a rule saying block 20, port 22, right? So let's uh, let's go back into here. Instead of putting count, uh, what do I want? I can do, notice some of the options. Let me just hit it, tab again. I can do count, which I just showed you. Expressions, I can do an expression like expression, IP, and then I can specify the IP address. I've demoed that in my packet capture. I can specify a file. I want to save it to a file. Again, I demoed that stuff. I can do stage. Um, and uh, what stage do I want it in? So let's try that out. Stage. Stage. And then notice it says pre-filter and post-filter. Interesting. So this is a good way to test and see, is that filter doing its job? So I'm going to do pre-stage, pre-filter. Okay, um, and I'm going to basically, now again, uh, I'll do a count of five again. Now, a ping's going on, so it's just going to capture that, okay? Well, let me kill that ping. Let's go into web now. Come on. Let's kill that ping. SSH 172.16.30.11. And I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to start that capture. I'm doing capturing five packets. Nothing's going to come up right now. Let's go back to web and let's initiate that SSH. Now, notice it looks like it's hung there. It's because my rule says drop. So this will eventually time out. If I go to my capture here, I should see something there. I actually do see some stuff going on here. I see a source of 172.16.10. 
uh, 11. That's my web, and there's its port. And then I see the destination, 172.16.30.11, port 22. So I see stuff coming in on port 22, right? I wonder what do I see coming out. Let's kill this. Come on. Let's kill this, and let's do post. Oops. Remember, I'm blocking 22. Post. Nothing's coming out. Well, nothing on port 22. Let's just be on the safe side. Let's restart that SSH again, just to be on the safe side, okay? Let's restart it. There we go. I'm going in. We know that, oops, I killed it. Let's try it again. Let's try that again. We know that pre-filter, I saw the request. Oh, there's a multicast here. So something came up. That's a multicast. We're not blocking that. Uh, there's some other stuff here. And we see uh, 172.16.30. Yeah, so this is just a reply back. And uh, we see here. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything on port 22. That's where I'm getting at. There's some other traffic that's going on here, probably a reply, but that's okay. I'm not seeing anything coming after the filter on port 22. Okay, let's just show that that this is actually working. Let's um, let's actually, you know what? I'll just go into NSX. Let's go into NSX right now. Let's disable that firewall. So right now that rule's enabled. I'm going to disable it. I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to, there we go. It's done. Now, let's see if we caught it in time. I may have to restart that. Okay, let's just restart it to be on the safe side. Oops. Let's go back to web. Sorry, right here is web. Let's kill that. I'm going to start SSH again. Oh, well, first of all, you see it went through, right? Because I disabled the, the rule. So let's go back to the here. We should see the post filter. There should be, there we go, right there, I can see it, right here, 172.16.30.11, that's the destination IP, and there's the port, port 22, okay? Uh, so we do see that it's actually working. So, so bottom line is, I could use this DV filter if I want to, to actually go in and look at do what, what traffic's coming in and what's tra in the filter and what's coming out. Now, I created a rule saying block this. Uh, you might have a rule saying, you know, most of your rules are probably going to be allowing things. You know, allow this, 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 and this, and then um, you got to catch all that drops everything, right? Uh, so you might say, okay, this is not working. Let's do some troubleshooting. What do we see coming in? Is port 22 coming in? Yes. Let's see what's coming out of the filter. Is port 22 coming out? No, it's not. Something's going on. Something's wrong, right? Uh, so a quick way to test your rule, see if the problem is the filter. There's also, again, uh, when I have my troubleshooting firewall videos, uh, one of the other things is TraceFlow, excellent tool to see, uh, uh, to see what's kind of going on. But this is also another nice way to dig down deep and see what's going on underneath the covers and looking at that. The other cool thing is, as I mentioned before, uh, the Start Capture DV filter is this and i honestly i'll be honest with you i didn't know about this one is the uh the esxi firewall itself again really nothing to do with nsx is the distributed firewall absolutely nothing to do with that that's really just esx the management console firewall i shouldn't say management console the management firewall so you, you can actually go in and view that kind of stuff all right so that's basically it quick short one this time around thanks for watching uh, again, if you found this entertaining or useful, hit that thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there, and I really appreciate you folks uh, doing that. I'm trying to add more and more content. If there's something you want to see or do, leave comments down below. I read them all. I reply back to them all. Um, and if there's something I can do, I will do it. I'm also very limited on my resources, but I'll do my best. Okay. Thanks again. Have a great day. See you later.